Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I've got a full tutorial on how to use the widgets within your notification center. So if you're like me and you don't use notification center all that much, this video right here is going to show you some cool features that are built into it. Let's get started. All right, so to start things off, let's go ahead and open up our notification center, just swiping down from the top. And you'll see right here, we have our notification center and I put it back to its stock form. So we just see the date and what's coming up tomorrow. So if we go ahead and tap edit here, we'll be able to see all the different applications we have on our device that allow widgets in the notification center. Now you can see I have quite a few here because I've added some for this video and I've added some to show you guys how it all works, but you may have less or you may have more. And basically to add them, all you have to do is tap on the plus. So I'll tap on the plus on the weather network and it'll now appear up top. And these are the widgets that are enabled right now. So you can see we got today's summary and tomorrow's summary. Those are standard. It just summarizes the days ahead and the day today. So if we tap done, cause we added the weather network, you'll see now we have a weather widget appearing on our notification center. So basically it would look like this. You want to check the weather quick. There you go. Now there are some other cool ones as well. So if we add another one, we tap edit and we go down here. I add the score because I like to track some of the scores in hockey and basketball and things like that. You can add your calendar, which is always good as well. And then I add Evernote. That way I can keep track of my notes very quick. So I've just added all three of those. You can actually order them like this. So if you want Evernote to be there, you want the score to be a little bit down, you can do that just by tapping on these little three lines and then just dragging where you'd like them. Now I delete the today summary and the tomorrow summary because I don't use those very much and you can pretty much delete any of them. As you see, just tap the minus and then remove. Tap done, and now you'll see how mine looks here. So you can see I've got my notification center open. I've got the weather network at the top. I've got Evernote second, so I can quickly add text, check my camera, photos, reminders, add a list. You can see the little notes that I have. Got my calendar with no events coming up, and then I've got my score app, which has a little feature here. If I tap on news, I can see quickly the news. Now, if you tap on any of these, for example, if I wanted to check out one of these news reports on that, I'll tap it. It'll open up the application itself, and this will work pretty much with every widget that you add into the notification center. So let's just jump right back into the notification center here. One last time, we'll tap edit. And just basically you'll be able to see everything that's left over, but I did add some great packages. Now that's something that's really cool with these widgets because let's say I didn't want any of these separate applications. I just wanted something that would give me the information I needed without having to have five applications listed there. So I downloaded a few apps that are basically packages of widgets. So I downloaded this one called widget, this one called widgets. And if you open these up, you'll be able to access and see how things are going to look when you add those packages in your notification center. So we'll just quickly show you how that'll look here. So we'll tap edit and I'll add these ones here from the widget app. So I'll just add each one of them. So there's a clock and there's the weather. So you can see I've added all of those. Those are all coming from the same widget and I like the weather to be at the top. So I'll just move that up top, tap done. And now you'll see how it'll look. And it looks pretty nice and you can change the backgrounds within the application. You can see your battery percentage. You've got your calendar listed down here as well and the clock and you can tap on the edit section, add and remove what you don't want. And like I said, if you tap on the widget app here and you tap up top, you'll be able to access different things. So if you want the text to be in yellow, it'll be in yellow. If you tap up top again, if you want the background to be white rather than orange or red, you can do so as well. You can have it background fetch every three hours, things like that, make it look very custom to how you'd like it. So there you go. I changed it up, looks a little bit different and that's how it'll look. Now let's go ahead and just remove this one more time here and I'll show you the other package app and I'll give you guys these uh, packages in a second here. I'll give you the full names so you can download them for yourself. And if you guys like me to do a video on the best widgets for the iPhone or iPad, let me know in the comment box down below and I'll definitely take that into consideration. Okay. So this one widgets here, basically you just add one tap done and you can see here it's in red and it's pretty hard to see. So what I'm going to do is go into that application that I just talked about widgets here. We'll tap on that and I'll be able to change the color here. So if I just tap down here 
I'll be able to make it blue, white. I like white. White should be good. And you can change these and add more applications by tapping here. And this one has a lot of different things that you can actually look at. So you can have FaceTime, audio calls listed, phone calls. You can change the clock, calendar, timer. You can add a spacer, separator, your CPU usage, free space, free memory. That's pretty good. And you can also add launchers for your application. So if you want to have Twitter to be able to be launched, you can add that. If we want to add in some other things, if we scroll all the way down to the bottom. We've got a little bit of weather here. So let's go ahead and put in one of the weather apps too, or the sections for weather. We'll go ahead and allow that just so it'll get the accurate weather. And then if you want to delete any of them, you just tap here and you can delete the ones you don't want. And what's cool about the phone app here, if you tap on it, you can actually add a specific contact so that all you have to do is tap on that and it'll call that specific contact very quickly. So you can see my CPU usage is kind of moving around as I do different things here. So I've added those in, go ahead and scroll down here and you can see that now I have all these little features and abilities that I can access. So if I want to quick launch Twitter, I'll just tap on that. It'll quickly open up Twitter for me. If I go ahead and tap on that call feature, if I added in a number here, it would have had the phone call just dialing, but you can see it's not doing anything right now. If I tap on the timer, it'll actually drop down the timer from 30 seconds. If you want to check your CPU usage, you just get this bar and you can see that it is moving and changing as I do different things. And then the time here, I have it set to New York. You can set it to anything. And there's a lot of little package apps like this, which actually help out and make the notification center work a little bit better and just make it a little bit more enjoyable because it is pretty boring. So again, if you guys want to check out these applications, this one here looked pretty good too, but I just added this one. It's called widget and this one widgets. Those are the two that I just downloaded to show you guys. And you can see that there's a lot of different packages here and it'll make notification center a lot more fun and easy to use. So that's the widgets feature built in to your notification center. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting the like button, subscribing to the channel, and also sharing it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, wherever you'd like. It helps me out a lot and it helps more people view these videos. Also, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment box down below. I answer all the questions and comments that come my way just to help you guys out and help you guys get the most out of these types of devices. And with that being said, I have a full tutorial series on the iPhone and the link is in the description down below as well. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Gotta wait for the train to pass by.